Thanks for inviting us in at 11 o'clock. Tonight we are learning new details about the grandmother and granddaughter who were shot and killed on their way to work today. Promise Mays and Pamela Sled were walking into their job at a Frankfurt plant this afternoon, like any other day when they were murdered in the parking lot. There is a lot of new information to unpack tonight. We're going to share how their families are remembering them and what they know about the suspect in this case, this man right here. But we want to start tonight at 11 with the new details police are sharing with us tonight. Investigators say the two victims are a grandmother and her granddaughter who had just arrived here at the NHK plant to start their shift when another co-worker who had just finished his shift walked up to them and shot them right here outside. I was three cars down from it and I stu stood there because I didn't want him to know I was there to uh, get shot myself. Jeffrey Church didn't know the man holding the gun. I don't know who he was. He worked in a different department than I did. But Church saw what happened next. I just seen him pull out a gun, shot her two or three times, shot her and then shot her in the head. Investigators say the gunman was 26-year-old Gary C. Farrell II, the victim's 21-year-old Promise Mays, and her 62-year-old grandmother, Pamela Sled. This is something that you can't prepare for. We watch it happen in other cities and other states, um, other areas, other parts of this world, and you hope and pray that it never happens here at home. Wednesday, the 911 calls came from Clinton County, several just after 4.15 from employees at the plant, identifying Farrell as the shooter. Police say a description of the blue Ford Focus witnesses say Farrell took off in helped an officer identify him within a minute after he left the plant. When that officer tried to pull Farrell over, he took off, crashing soon after in a construction zone in nearby Frankfurt. According to investigators, Farrell wasn't injured in the crash and gave up without a fight. The ATF and FBI are investigating, now searching Farrell's car in Frankfurt home to help understand why he did what he did. It is devastating, and it's going to take a long time to heal from this, I'm sure. Sadly, Jeffrey Church can agree after seeing firsthand exactly what the sheriff is talking about. I don't believe it happened. I mean, you never know. And we're learning new information about these two victims and a possible motive for this shooting. Tonight, I talked with Pam Sled's sister, Ruth Moore. She believes the suspect killed Promise Mays because she refused to date him. Moore told me tonight Promise Mays was engaged and planning a wedding. She described Promise as a woman who could just light up a room and make it glitter. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the families and all the friends who knew and loved these two women. Let's take a closer look now at the facility where the shooting happened. The NHK seating plant assists the Subaru factory up in Lafayette. And this location off of State Road 28 and I-65 is actually an expansion of the original plant that's just eight minutes down the road. They were actually open for a job fair earlier today. It ended at 4 o'clock just minutes before that shooting. Now we're going to keep an eye out for any new updates from police on this case overnight. Right now we know the prosecutor is expected to file criminal charges against the suspect in the next 48 hours, if not sooner. Once that happens, we'll send you a push alert on our WTHR app.